If there's really such a thing as a spirit animal, then this is definitely mine. We first found Martin on Craigslist. We weren't really looking for a dog at the time. His family was moving to an apartment and couldn't take him with, and we weren't about to let him go to the shelter. That's when Martin came into our life. Ever since I was little, growing up in Kiwani, the neighbor girls, Lisa and Lori, always had a collie of their own. Mitzi was her name, and I would do anything I could to sneak over there and get a visit in with that dog. There was just something about collies that struck a chord with me since I was very little. I can't really say how old Martin is right now. We've had him about 10 years. And he kind of always looked like, well, Martin. Now to be fair, on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably a two when it comes to being a good pedal. I am absolutely terrible at taking care of brushing my dog, and his long fur pays the price. Luckily, it's time for a road trip. We're going from De Pere, Wisconsin, all the way to Two Rivers. Just an old Wisconsin fishing village with one special secret. small grooming shop with a very special owner and a very good friend. Meet Stephanie. I always make the trip to Stephanie, not only because she's very patient with me, but she's extra patient with Martin. Martin. He's an old dog, and he tends to like to do things on his own time. He doesn't get up on the table with the noose around his neck and sit still and behave himself. Mostly he cranks about things and wanders about the store, and Stephanie takes her time, follows him about, and when he's ready, she works on him. A little combing, a little blow drying, sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's four. But in the end, Marty leaves looking like a respectable dog again. Thanks, Steph. Sometimes my job and my days can get very stressful. And this boy is my peace. Bonnie Wilcox once wrote, old dogs, like old shoes, are comfortable. They might be a bit out of shape and a little worn around the edges, but they fit well. 